I mean, you, not much you can say. We just got our butts kicked. Um, you know, we the game, the whole thing we've been through the last three weeks has taken a toll on us. Obviously, Saturday's game took our probably took our spirit away. I, I we challenged them on on um, on Sunday to come back. I, I kind of begged and pleaded yesterday and today, um, but I, I could feel it. I could feel it coming. Um, it's a shame what happened Saturday uh, when you looked at the schedule. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, and you saw four top 20 teams in a row. You know, you, if you could get two out of the four, you'd probably be pretty happy. We had a chance to get three. Uh, we didn't. Um, you know, and and one or two, obviously, we depend on Marquise and Nigel so much. And they were just, they did a good job getting into them. And we were just a little off, um, you know, and, and we cut it to 12 second half. Marquise had those two free throws or he had, it was 14 and maybe he had two free throws to go to 12. And he missed them, and then they went down and hit the three, and then it was just uh, it was just kind of over at that point. So um, done and over with. Got a new season. I told them after uh, Kansas, the most important game of the year was going to be Mississippi. Didn't matter what happened today. Um, we got to clear our minds, uh, come together, um, and see if we can be ready to play uh, on Saturday against Mississippi. You got 12 left, and. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to fight out of this hole and find a way to get some of these games. Next coach, we'll go to Kellis. Yeah, Bruce, what do you know about Selton at this point? Um, it, it, he hurt his ankle and it was very swollen. Um, I'm not sure if they were gonna take him. I didn't see him. I saw him after the game, then I didn't see him in the locker room. So I don't know if they took him to get an X-ray or not. Um, but I, you guys probably saw it on replay. I didn't get to see it. He just came down. He said he thought he came down on somebody's foot. And, um, you know, it's a, uh, all we've been through. Obviously, we don't want to lose anybody. But um, you know, so hope, hope it's not as bad as it, you know is it, you know is the, I guess the worst possibility. But we'll just have to wait and see. When when he's not in there, who would you say you lean on most to replace his kind of production? Well, I mean, Mike is. You know, I thought Mike. We all started, we shot too many threes early. Um, we've been pretty good at, at playing basketball the last few weeks, uh, moving the ball, making an extra pass, um, getting in the paint. Um, we didn't get in the paint. We shot quick threes. Um, obviously, then they got going. Um, and, you know, it, it just, it was all downhill after that. I thought after a while, we started getting to the basket, started getting to the paint. Uh, Marquise had a good little run in the second half. Um, but, uh, you know, they're good. They're, 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 you know, when you look at all the teams we played and you, you evaluate them, they're good. They're the best offense and defense. You know, Kansas offense is elite. Um, Texas Tech's, you know, got a little bit of both. But, you know, it, these guys are efficient at everything. And, uh, and we didn't do a good job of attacking them from the start. And then it was all downhill. All right. Hey, thanks. Travel safe, Coach. Yep. Uh, next question to Michael. Hey, Bruce, have you got anybody that can match somebody like Jim or uh, uh energy and length? No, I mean, you look at his stats, 13 and 12, five offensive rebounds, 22 minutes, six for seven. Um, you know, obviously a credit to them. They, they, uh, he's, he's active, mobile. He's, you know, we, we had trouble with them last year. Uh, the first couple times, not quite as much the, the last one, but, um, you know, it's just, you know, our big guys aren't, don't have that mobility. That was one, one of the reasons we thought we could play ish a little bit, uh, maybe at the five, just to kind of ease a little more mobile and bouncy than our, some of our other guys. So uh, obviously it didn't, didn't work. Uh, Davion had got hurt uh, in practice and, you know, he made the decision to play, but um Probably, you know, he was a, probably a step behind everything. We were a step behind everything. They, the rip drives, the not getting in help, uh, mistakes on cuts, not talking, communicating, all the things we've been pretty good at the last couple of weeks was not there. Where do you go to find consistency from this team? Well, I thought we had been making some progress. And like I said, I, you know, sometimes, and I've had championship teams got their butts beat. I mean, it happens. Uh, you see it in the NBA, you see it, you know, and just now they got to, they got to man up, grow up, come together and, uh, and, you know, see what we can do. Uh, you got 
got a lot of games left and a lot of things can happen, but we got all we can worry about right now is uh, getting home and uh, getting ready for Mississippi. Were there, was there anything that was the most discouraging about the defense or did they just kind of stretch you guys out? I, I think we are just a step behind on everything, you know, and, and we just, um, you know, and, and they seemed to be a little more ready. They seemed on their toes and we were on our heels and uh, they got, we just didn't get the help. We didn't get the, we didn't contain the dribble when we needed to. I thought when we pressured them the second half a little bit, bothered them, got them out of some stuff. Obviously the next time maybe be something that we, you know, hopefully can do a little better job of, but, um, and that was without their, you know, one of their better cards. So um, they're good. They got, they got, they very efficient, very balanced. You look at it, you know, you know, not a shot well, but, you know, three guys, double digits, eight, seven, or four guys, double digits. So great balance. Um, and, uh, you know, hopefully we can, you know, we'll get them a chance. But right again, at home, hopefully we can figure that out a little bit. But right now we got to go get Mississippi. It's huge. All right. Thank you. Yep. Uh, next, next question, question to Mitch. Mitch. Yeah, Coach, what would you say in the last couple of games have been the big reason why there's been some issues with rebounding? I don't know, to be honest. Um, you know, I don't. I would not say it's one of our four days of the year. Um, you know, and, and, you know, when we out-rebound people, we're, what is it, 10 and 1, 11, 10 and 1, I guess. Um, you know, and a couple of Texas and – Texas Tech, who are really good rebounding teams, we were able to stay in front of them and we were able to rebound the basketball. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it, it, they just, we got to, we got to get, we got to do a little better job. We did, all we did on Sunday uh, was box out. And uh, obviously it didn't help because the beginning of game, they, they, that was a big factor, them getting some second chance opportunities to slowly but surely build that lead. Thank you. Uh, next, next question to Cole. Cole. Yeah, Coach, uh, these last four games have been, you mentioned against top 20 teams, but now you enter a stretch uh, with uh, no ranked teams in these next three games. Just how, what's going to be your message to your team and in order for them to, to stay focused? Well, first of all, I told them the other day that Mississippi was really important. I, and I, I said that on Saturday afternoon after the game. Um, second of all, they just beat Florida by 20 at home. So <laughs> if that doesn't catch your attention, nothing will. And then you talk about unranked Oklahoma State has already beaten Baylor uh, here two weeks ago and also beat uh, Texas, I believe. So um, and they're three and four and they're ahead of us. So it's uh you know, I don't, I, I, hopefully I don't have to motivate them with that part. Um, uh, you know, that's, uh, you know, they, but all we can focus on is ourselves and getting ready. Um, you know, like I said, I, I, if you played sports and, and your, your spirit was taken out of you, it, it you got to find a way to get it back. And, uh, we gotta, we gotta figure that out. Um, I, one of my quote this week or whatever, the last couple of days was, when bad things happen, you have three choices. You can let it destroy you, uh, and or you can uh, let it define you. You know, and 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 that's what they got to they got to decide. There's one other one I can't remember what it is, but um, there's three choices they have, and and that's right now. Um, you know, if, if we're going to let this define us, we're going for a long stretch. But hopefully, and we can't let it destroy us. And, and we got to come back and we have to uh, take a whole nother step. And uh, I, we're good enough. I believe it, you know, but obviously tonight it was not, not our night. And then when Marquis Noel gets the ball and really goes downhill, just how much does that open up your offense? Yeah, I thought in the first half, it was the first time in a while where he, um, he got bogged up. He overdid some things. He didn't let it happen. Obviously, they got into Nigel. He just came off a, you know, 30-some point game player of the week. Um, unbelievable, you know, performance. Um, and, you know, again, 
you know, I thought second half, we did a better job. He did, Marquise did a better job. Nigel did of getting some things going. We just uh, couldn't stop him enough uh, in that, uh, you know, we had our one chance. Like I said, Marquise had those two free throws, you know, maybe make him get the 12. Now you get another stop, but uh, it went the other way after that. And then uh, it was, it was tough to, tough, tough to respond. Any other questions for coach? Thank, Thank you, you coach. Guys.